look at this. You can clearly see the line between clean ocean water and then that coffee colored river water. Treasure Coast River advocates say this is the damaging results from Lake of discharges sent to the St. Lucie River and Indian River Lagoon. Megan McRoberts is live in Seward as the concern is growing for our paradise. Megan. Well, Ashley, we're in Sewell's Point and here during the day you can see the brown water, but at night we can better show you just this foamy substance that has resulted along the shoreline in Sewell's Point, which environmentalists say is a sign of pollution tied to the releases from Lake Okeechobee. Now residents are putting the pressure back on politicians to make good on their promise to stop this. Okay. Every day for years, this group of retired guys has met up at Sandsprit Park. There's always a breeze here. Only to notice. And it's beautiful, except for the dirty water. Not many people going out. The decline in the conditions of this treasured waterway. It's been a long time since this water has really been clear all up through here. Fishing piers Monday were empty when usually there's a crowd. Eight to ten uh, on each pier. And when they're not biting, they don't come. Dirty water you can see even more clearly from above. Jackie Thurlow Lippish, a commissioner for the state of Florida, documenting the conditions from the air for years. This is the largest we've ever seen it uh, out of the St. Lucie Inlet, four miles. Mm -hmm. Putrid, black, water with the foam on the edge. Her pilot and husband captured the drastic line between clean ocean water and coffee colored river water off our shoreline. This is the exact scenario so many people on the Treasure Coast want to see an end to. They will get worse. And with rising water in Lake Okeechobee, there's no end in sight to the discharges. Thurlow Lippish is among the many who fear these conditions will lead to a lost fall and winter on the water. We cannot let up. We have to face this like an emergency every day. Now, one of the first rallies of the year for the water will be this weekend, this Saturday at 10 a.m. on the south side of the Jupiter Inlet, calling for a stop to the Lake Okeechobee releases. Reporting live in Martin County tonight, I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.